back to spreading fertilizer. I got the 40 here at my uncle's to get done. I'm gonna spread the back first since it's not chisel plowed and get some weight off the spreader so it doesn't buck so hard on the chisel plowed ground. Get done here, I gotta go down to the muck, spread that. I went and walked it a little bit Saturday evening. Should be able to get over it okay. It's still a little wet, but I wasn't sinking just walking on it with my boots. So normally if you can walk across it, you can drive across it. That ground down there is kind of funky. Um, so, oh, and then when I get done there, as long as I got enough left in the spreader, which should have it, I got enough for two acres extra. But I also switched spreaders to get rid of the one that had that gearbox that somehow amazingly, by the grace of God, was still spinning the beaters, even though by all rights it shouldn't have been. Um, so this spreader's probably going to act a little different because the other one was a wide web. This one's a narrow web. But so as long as I got enough left after going to the muck, I got to drive all the way back over. So that last field I spread on the last video where I ran out and um, finish up over there the spot where I ran out. But we are basically 62, <coughs> 62 pound bulk density. Uh, oh, this one's only 40 foot spread too. Um, the other one was a 50. So, I'm looking at 145 pounds an acre, so we want somewhere in the neighborhood of two and a half to two and three quarter, one, two, that ought to work. I don't know what the heck they were spreading last with this one, but it was nasty stuff. Um, oh, yeah, I was gonna. I happened to notice that they gave me a stick. So, hopefully, I get done spreading today and I can take that spreader back tomorrow afternoon. And also, tomorrow afternoon, don't mind the upside down chisel plow that I accidentally. I accidentally flipped that over, trying to get it out of the way. And I didn't have a chain to flip it back up on the shank, so that's just where it stayed. Um, so, what was I saying? Yeah, and then tomorrow, we got chances of rain. If it doesn't rain, I'd like to go chisel plowing, but I think if it do, even if it doesn't rain, I'm going to go take the pole saw over. I don't know. We'll see. I think that I need to look at the weather forecast. It's supposed to rain this upcoming weekend. So if it rains this weekend, that'd be a better time to go down there and work on chisel plowing tomorrow while it's dry. So I got to make a decision on that. But anyhow, we got to get this job done first. So, oh, and I got some news for you. Couldn't believe my eyes. Pulled through the farmyard up there and then 2155 was sitting next to the barn door side out so I could see the battery box. Y'all ain't gonna believe it. I didn't believe it myself, but I'm pretty sure it's got two brand new batteries in it. Holy cow. You better check your local news for snowballs in hell and pigs flying.
almost done we're obviously down here on the muck so i guess let's see how this goes no guts no glory but I turned the corner around there and I saw the tire pick something up and flick it out and then I heard something hissing got something in the damn front or put a freaking hole in the front tire naturally it's a tube type so I can't just put a plug in it shit that really puts a damper on the day okay dad bought, brought me a steer tire off the 105 I completely forgot that thing was sitting up there. Good thing. Because everything we got at the house with an 11L15 on it is at my house. So that wouldn't have been, well, that would have been unhandy.
I was really hoping to get done spreading fertilizer today, but I guess I'm going to have a little bit left to do tomorrow because with my little tire debacle, that pretty much cost me all the daylight by the time I get clear over to that other field. It's going to be dark, so unfortunately, that kind of throws a wrench into things. I not I mean, not that it's a super big deal, but I really was hoping to just be done fertilizer spreading today. But anyhow, at least the muck's done. Well, technically everything's done other than what I got to go back and touch up. So, but there ain't no sense of getting that on video because that's just a few minutes worth of work. So, I guess i'm gonna head home and get that thing stuffed in the barn because we don't want that getting wet and um yeah i guess that's it for this one and we'll catch you guys on the next one